America. Mr. President, where do you see this relationship President going? Barack Obama speaking after that uh, historic nuclear deal reached with Iran led to the uh, lifting of economic sanctions, uh, saying that uh, uh, although the deal was not intended to solve all problems, all differences between America and Iran, Iran will not get its hands on a nuclear bomb after this. Uh, I'm joined now by uh, Pavir, uh, Amir Pavel from our BBC Persian service. Um, uh, President Obama there seemed really keen to lay out the benefits, why this was a good thing, uh, why he hasn't compromised on security for the United States. Who was he trying to convince? Because there's detractors at home and also in America, right? In, that's in right, Iran. that's right. He was trying to respond to all the critics throughout the past two years, many of them coming from um, the Congress, from inside the United States, but also coming from allies of the United States in the region, namely Israel and Saudi Arabia, that look, we promised Iran will do these things, it, it has already done. It's very interesting. I was covering the same talks um, when the deal was done, when the interim deal was done, and both times President Obama came after those deals were done and delivered a similar speech. In the, 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 the parts which are about the nuclear are word by word like those, except that all the Iran wills have turned into Iran has. Yes. Iran has shipped its uranium stockpile. Iran has re reduced its number of centrifuges. Iran has converted the reactor uh, uh, in Iraq. And Iran is now under strict monitoring uh, system, reassuring all those who skeptics that this is now a done deal. And interestingly, still hammering home the differences between the two, uh, Iran's support for uh, proxy uh, fighters, uh, Iran's human rights records, also uh, the ballistic missiles program that it has, uh, and mentioning that they've just uh, brought in new sanctions. Tell us about those. That's true. Part of the deal is that the United States will no longer impose any nuclear-related sanctions. But it doesn't rule out that if, for example, Iran violates the agreement about the ballistic missiles, that there won't be new sanctions. So the United States, Iran tested the, those missiles a um, few weeks ago. United States prepared sanctions on Iran. But it, as we know now, delayed imposing those sanctions for the prisoner swap to go through and only after that doing so. Now, we have to wait to see what the response will be from Iran, Iranian side, because Iranians were not happy in the first place. Were when they, they were expecting this, these sanctions? Well, the Americans had said they were delaying it. Now, after the prisoner swap, there were some who thought maybe they have already shelved it in indefinitely. But these sanctions were in place, they were about to be imposed, and now they're imposed after those four dual nationals are safely back home in the United States. But then, but then again, as I say, we'll have to see what the reaction of Iran will be because Iran was not happy when those sanctions first, were first drafted. And it, some elements within Iranian hardline uh, groups threatened that if the United States do, does that, this will threaten the deal. Now, we're going to hear a little bit more from you, but first let's uh, go to President Obama speaking a little bit.